Pod Radio. I'm your host, Eric Bray Nicholson. I'm your host, Dylan Wilmette. And we're broadcasting live from our fairly dark city, Milwaukee, Milwaukee Wisconsin. Wisconsin. It was light last time. It was dark this time. And you're back. You I jumped am. in the sun. Whoa. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, what, what day is it, Dylan? I don't know. Let's check out the, the Book of Days. days. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, today is a uh, interesting day for the economy. Mm-hmm. In um, 1914, the Fed opens. The Central Bank of the United States? Yeah. Yes. And in 1988, uh, Benazir Bhutto becomes the president of Afghanistan. Mm-hmm. And, uh, no, no, Pakistan. Uh, sorry, Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan. It's okay. Um, and in 2006, uh, I have your Milton Friedman dies, mm-hmm. apparently an economist. Yeah, he was probably the one or two most influential economists of the 20th century. He uh, he did he was Reagan's economic advisor, so you know there's all all the debate about that, mm-hmm. which we're not going to get into. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he was influential regardless of what your political opinion is or your uh, or your economic stance. Interesting, I've never heard of him before. Mm-hmm. He's most famous for. Uh, Mon- monetarism, which is it involves the Fed, which opened today. Wow, that's very ironic. I know that it's Milton Freeman's death day. It's review time. The album we're going to view today is Battle Studies by John Mayer. Uh, this is his fourth studio album. Uh, what were your thoughts on it? It's um, it really. You've heard you've heard his hits from the album. Probably you know Heartbreak Warfare is the big one, and also Who Says. And Half of My Heart with Taylor Swift. Right. I mean, and he's had a lot of bits before. I mean, this kind of, the whole album is in seeming like kind of easy listening. He's not going anywhere new. And, in fact, I think it probably stagnates a little bit. Besides the hits, which are good hits, it really doesn't do anything for me. No no real hooks. You, you, I really like the way you said it. There weren't any hidden gems, and that's a really good way to put it. It's pretty mediocre. Yeah. Um, it's sad, but it's true. I mean... Like, I would, you know, he did a cover of Robert Johnson's uh, Crossroads. Yeah. You know, it, it doesn't, just doesn't live up to anything you want, like, Cream or anybody. Or even Robert Johnson. Even Robert, well, of course Robert Johnson. <laughs> or Cream, or even Robert Johnson, who made it? True. Okay, uh, do you have anything else? Like, a, lot of, a lot of acoustic songs, mm-hmm. uh, slow. Um... Lyrics. I liked a couple of the lyrics, especially in the hits. Who says? Uh, yeah, who, who says? Uh, what was that one? The uh, I, there were a lot. Yeah, I don't know. It, yeah, uh, going to <laughs> Japan by himself, and uh, uh, don't yeah. remember yeah. you looking any better. Yeah. <laughs> then again, I don't. And I was like, it's kind of the imagery in Heartbreak Warfare about the clouds mm-hmm. of sulfur and all that stuff. Uh, the overall theme, I guess, of the song is, is like, it's called Battle Studies and kind of love as war. Uh, so, yeah, more depressing, I guess, in that sense. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, not really uplifting like some of his other previous songs. Right. Did you have any other thoughts? I didn't have much to say about this album. I literally, I had absolutely nothing to say about it because it, it just, it didn't, it didn't bring me in as like, it didn't bring me in like Continuum did or like, uh, like the other one, did, the other two oh, albums. Oh, so Square, did. yeah. I, 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 uh, Room for Squares or the one that Daughters was on. Yeah. That didn't just didn't hook, give me that hook. All right. Which is sad because I like John Mayer. I saw him live at Crossroads. Yes. Yeah. And he was really good. Mm-hmm. But it's like. Come on. Yeah, you, got, I enjoyed, you, can, you can do better than this, John. I really enjoyed it. If you're watching this, you can do better. Continuum was good for me, and this is not a very good follow-up, I thought. Um, right. So what would you give it? Uh, your three favorite songs. My three favorite songs were, uh, first off was Who Says. Mm-hmm. I like the lyrics. That was great. And um, it's just have, him having fun and letting go. It's definitely the happiest song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very lighthearted. And uh, also, the, I thought the uh, guitar, the uh, finger picking was yes. really, really good. Mm-hmm. Um, my second one was Half of My Heart with Taylor Swift. I thought uh, she could have, he could have done more with her. Oh, yeah. She's absolutely. just basically doing background harmonies. And she's she good. She could have done, taken a solo or something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I love the lead guitar on that one. Like the solo is so, like, Yeah, that one. And then, uh, you know, um, and the third one was Heartbreak Warfare, and I just mm-hmm. like the symbolism of it actually being war. I think it used, like, a grenade. I think it was, like... No, uh, yeah, I think he's like a sulfur, yeah. yeah. And then uh, the guitars in that one were also really good. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what were your three favorites? Uh, my first and third were the same. Uh, Who says is is really good acoustic? To perfectly lonely comes right after that one. Um, I, yeah, I can see how that. It's kind of like again, it's a little bit more upbeat. Like he's on his own, but he likes being on his own. Um, 
And three would be Heartbreak Warfare, the big, the big hit. But there's a reason it's a big hit. Yeah. Um, what would you give it? I'd give it a B minus. This is not the best John Mayer album I'd, I've ever heard. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Yeah, no, I, I'd give it the same, actually. It's... Would it be a minus? Yeah, yeah, okay. B minus. It's okay, but... Yeah. All right. All right, next. All right, that about wrap it up for us today. Uh, thank you to all our friends, fans, and viewers of uh, the show. Uh, let us know what you think of this new format that we're doing today, that we're doing... Yeah, uh, this, this week and hopefully mm -hmm. continuing it. Um, we just have more time for it. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it would be better for you to put out more more shows and do more books a day because we, mm -hmm. we always like that, doing that. Yeah, and uh, keep sending in those requests. Mm -hmm. We'll be back on Friday with a request actually by two people. Um, this is Lincoln Park, mm -hmm. A Thousand Suns, so be sure to stay tuned Friday for that. That'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, tune, in tune in on Friday to see our two ugly mugs. <laughs> and the cups, too. See you on Friday. When the world's quiet, no one's around. Track my moves, racing the yellow lights to find the gate.